let's talk about something. I know we are talking about all the things that are not working or people are going through. I like to talk about what are the positive things that came out of this lockdown? Like that's yeah. more important because people are seeing, but what are the things, if this didn't happen, we would have never been able to see the positiveness of this. So I think we should I highlight a little bit of the positive side of that. 100%. Uh, you know, I put a Facebook post out early on saying, well, what have you learned? What have been the positives for you in the lockdown? And, you know, I've had so many responses to that. It's just been incredible. Uh, people are learning to play musical instruments. People have learned to bake at home. People have learned to communicate with their families better. People are happier, healthier. People have gone uh, and, and found creative, innovative ways of getting fitter again. People are meditating more. Uh, people are doing much, much more uh, strategic building of their businesses going forward. Re, you know, understanding how they can shift their focus or shift their business model to, to deliver a service in a different way. I think the positives uh, are really can be summed up like this. This lockdown has given us time. T time to take out from uh, ordinarily busy lives where we are literally going from place to place to place to place uh, and we do much of it hypnotically because we haven't got time to think this lockdown has forced us into a time where we can do nothing else but think and I think that has got to be a healthy thing and I, I think that what's going to come out of this lockdown is and I, I'm truly hopeful of this that we get into a world where we are much more embracing and tolerant of each other, where we understand that we are all one humanity, where there is less competition uh, between organizations, communities and countries uh, and more cooperation. And uh, I truly believe that that is the kind of rhetoric that we're beginning to see coming out from lockdown and certainly people are learning all these old-fashioned skills that our grannies used to do you know knitting somebody was talking about knitting and yeah. weaving earlier on I was like wow I've never even heard of anybody that knits anymore uh, I myself am, am reading old-fashioned books again you know normally I'm I'm on uh, audio, audio, uh, Audible and listen to audiobooks all the time, but I'm now able to pick up books and, and feel the texture of the book. It's a, and it slows your thinking process down. It's quite a meditative process. I've gone back to the gym and you know, I've got a, a gym set up in my garage and now I've got into a routine where I go for an hour every single day. I feel fitter and healthier. Uh, I'm taking more time out to meditate. I have been building my business and I've completely restructured how I deliver my services. And as a consequence, I'm getting more clients coming through. So I do think that this can be a really, really productive time for each and every single one of us. All we need to do is work our way through the change management model. So typically when it comes to any kind of change, whether it's a change in your organization, change in your life or change in society, we always start off up here where we, we get into a state of denial. Oh, that's never going to happen. They will never lock us down. I just can't see that working. And when it does happen, then you get this angst, this anger, this anxiety, because you think you won't be able to cope with it. And as you are forced into, you get into what we call the valley of despair. And at the valley of despair is when you feel at your very lowest going through this whole new way of th uh, doing. And, and we've seen this on social media where people are like, I can't cope, I can't cope. Now I think we're getting onto the upward uh, curve where people are now integrating, where people are experimenting. Okay, so I'm in lockdown, so what can I try? And now I think we genuinely are seeing people getting excited about lockdown. Uh, I have had more people saying to me, I'm enjoying this. You know what? I feel guilty to say, but I'm actually enjoying it because I've, I've learned to communicate with my family more. I'm now picking up a book. I'm now able to bake. I'm now able to look after my fitness and, uh, and, and connect with my pets and all this kind of stuff. So I think that we are just going through a natural change management model. Uh, uh, and what's going to happen is that if we started off there, when we come out of it, our thinking will be up there. We will have learned new skills, thinking in a new way, and we will have a new normality. I think that learning new skills have already started. I think people mm. have figured that out and it's so important. Yeah. You're right. Like personally me, I am in such a good mental state. I am actually, I always say I'm like, I couldn't even get this time, even if I paid for a vacation to go somewhere. Mm. Right. So you have to take that as an advantage. And I think it's a state of mind where whatever situation you are in, how are you going to make 
take that situation in towards you as an advantage. Because absolutely, you know, I don't. I don't think people understand how different this is, how unique this is. This is so much more different, as you quite rightly say, from taking a vacation somewhere. Because even if you go to a holiday resort somewhere on the opposite side of the world, you're still going to have distractions. You're still going to be surrounded by people. This is a unique time where you are by yourself with your loved ones around you, with still the ability to connect with the people around the world. This is like the time. If you don't re-engineer who you are right now, reinvent yourself right with, with who you are right now, then I'm afraid I don't think you ever will because this is the only time in your life because this is the only time this has happened in my lifetime. Mm-hmm. I can't see this happening every every couple of years. So this is a unique time in your life, utilize it to the best of your advantage.